What is up, guys? It is great to see everyone again. This is Natural Soap Man, and just coming back from my little vacation. Christmas was good. New Year's was great. Vacation success, and I hope and wish the same was for you. And now I'm looking to start 2022 off with some bangers here. I actually have two soaps for you, the Black Stout and the Dogs Bay Beach. By a company that's been definitely getting a lot of buzz lately, and that is a company even some of you have actually referenced to me in the past on a couple of different occasions, and that's the Black Stuff Company. So with that being said, let's drop the music and let's get right into our review. It feels good to be back. How is everyone? Man, I hope Christmas and I hope holidays treat you all nicely. Your boy enjoyed his little vacation. It was nice, not gonna lie. I had to force myself. It was very nerve wracking at first. It was like, uh, ah, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, no, it was nice. I uh, apologize anyway if I didn't respond to any comments. I made it an issue to like, no, stay over there, YouTube. I'm chilling, I'm chilling. So it was nice, it was a nice two weeks for sure. But it feels good to be back though, it really does. I'm, I'm excited to be back. I can't wait to start 2022. A big announcement, man, we, we finally, Natural Soap Man has officially reached a thousand subscribers. And that feels really good. That feels really darn good. That was a big goal of mine. A little while, <laughs> little while, that was a goal. It was a big goal of mine and now that we're here, it's. Now it's like, what's the next goal, right? 10,000, I think we could reach 10,000. How crazy would that be, huh? A soap channel reaching 10,000 subscribers, that'd be crazy. But we'll get there sooner or later, right? One day. But today, starting off 2022, super excited. We're actually going to be taking a closer look at what you probably noticed was the Black Stout in the Dogs Bay Beach by the Black Stuff Company. Now, what's fascinating about this uh, was this, the owner, John, I actually reached out to me via email, right? I asked if I could review his channel, uh, review his shows on my channel. I said, obviously, of course, yes. I would definitely check him out. Because at that time, it was actually kind of ironic. I actually even had a few of you guys uh, make some comments and suggest that I should check him out. There was a little bit, little bit of buzz going around this company. Um, they kind of came out of nowhere, you know, similar to Sudsy Bear. So I was like, dude, let's do this. So. He sent me six of them. I think he has a total of 10 of them all together, but he sent me six of them, right? So today we're looking at the Black Stout and the Dogs Bay Beach, but uh, so over the course of this video, next video, and the following video, we're gonna be looking at Black Stuff Company. So for my, so what I'm asking everyone here is if you use a soap, you know, if you have some experience, if you tried it, leave some comments below, right? Give some feedback. I'm sure the, our friends at Black Stuff Company are gonna read that and they're gonna appreciate that. Any feedback we can give them, good or bad, you know, I'm sure they're gonna appreciate it, so. Um, and if you haven't, and if there's one in particular that you wanna try, let us know why as well, so. But that being said, let's get into a review. Let's start talking about what is the soap and the box and the presentation of our soaps. Okay, first things first, talking about our box. I absolutely love the box. I like the logo the most, I think. I think that's what stands out the most to me. But what I thought was fascinating, this box doesn't really do anything different. It's a very traditional box. You see a lot of natural soaps use this style of box work. But for some reason, when I was putting up to my other soaps, there was a particular, I, I'm not quite sure why. I guess it's the aesthetic, the way it's built. 
And I think also things like logo. The boxes stand out and I thought that was really cool. So we have something that's very marketable. The logo, I love the logo. I love that vintage style. It's actually very, fairly similar to my logo if you, if you really look at them. I noticed a couple of differences, but overall, it, there are some similarities. So it's probably why I'm a little biased. But overall, I thought it all looked really good. It came together really well. Very marketable, very um, pleasing to the eye, I guess. So, But the soaps, as you saw, the soaps are very pretty, very well made. Um, I really like the, the little blue and the uh, the Dogs Bay Beach, that little style. That's, I uh, did some little research and actually come to find out that was actually inspired by the actual, I guess, somewhere in Ireland, right? Um, there's a beach called Dogs Bay Beach and also a, there's another beach, like they're back to back. I think that was like Girton. I don't know what it's called. But they, like, they come together back to back and it's really gorgeous. It's a super beautiful picture. And I was actually inspired by that. So I thought that was really cool. And the soap looks really, really good. So, and the black stout, very traditional, very, uh, very natural looking, very pretty bar of soap. So, but that's what our box and our soaps looks like. Well, let's move on to the next part of the video where we're gonna talk about our ingredients. So let's move right along. And moving right along to our ingredients section of our video, um, I'll post these on the screen for you guys to check them out. And as you can tell, we have a lot of different ingredients here. Very similar, reminds me of Sudsy Bear. Right, Sudsy Bear also featured a lot of ingredients, but that wasn't a bad thing as we came to find out. It was really good, and I that seem, seems to be the case here as well. Now, both soaps do feature what is our, I call the fatty essential oils, your olive, your coconut, your palm oil, right? Uh, even has some castor oil as well in both of them. Uh, shea butter's here. It's good, always good to see shea butter. Um, we have a nice little array of essential oils both featuring different nice little variety there now both soaps do feature an oatmeal and a pumice making them both exfoliating bars especially that dog's bay beach that is a very heavy grit soap um the black sauce it has a heavy grit as well but that dog's bay beach is very impressive it's very 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 heavy grit uh, i even think I, if i if i read it correctly on the website they even say that it um it is their heaviest or their most exfoliating bar that they offer, if I read that correctly. So if you like exfoliating bars, you're definitely gonna like the Dogs Bay Beach for sure. And it's also important to point out that neither one of these soaps have any artificial fragrances, any colors like that. Um, I was a little curious about the Dog uh, Bay Beach where we got that blue from. Turns out to be the from the mica. So I'm always curious when I see colors like that. It makes me raise an eyebrow where we got the color from. And there you have it, my friends. Those are our ingredients for the Black Stout and the Dogs Bay Beach. Everything seems to clear, uh, you know, check off. Um, nothing really, no red flags, anything like that. No artificial fragrances or colors like that. So with that being said though, let's move on to the next part of the video where we're gonna do our sniff test and see how these bad boys smell. All right, gentlemen, let's move on to the next part of the video where we're gonna do our sniff test. Now, Really excited about this part of the video because man, I absolutely love both of them. I really do. Both smell fantastic. But let's start off the Dogs Bay Beach first. Um, beach soap. Beach vibes 100%. It smells fantastic. I love beach soaps. Especially when they're done right and they have a little attitude and a little personality. It's not just your run of the mill bay rum, right? Nothing wrong with bay rums. I love bay rums, but sometimes that's kind of like the go-to and it's like we could do more right there's other scents out there that symbolize the beach but this soap is absolutely perfect for the spring and the summertime you know when you're going out doing summer activities right including going to the beach obviously but the now the dogs day beach is fascinating because you have some different elements here it's a little complex of a soap you got some citrus you got a little spice from some cinnamon you got some spruce, you got some juniper. So you got a lot of different things coming together that make this bright, vibrant, very fun, very energetic, very positive energy flowing soap. It makes you wanna go out and do stuff. Like it's, it's that kind of soap, it's very fun. And I don't get a lot of the soaps on this channel for some reason, it just seems not to be a thing, which is so weird and I wish companies would do things like this more often. So when I do come across a soap like this, Man, I just throw my hands in the air, I'm like, thank you. 
these soaps are awesome people guys like these type of soaps they do well and the dog's baby is just fantastic i uh, absolutely recommend this one i'm not even i'm not even at the final thoughts section yet try this one if you're interested in black stuff uh black stuff company i definitely recommend at least at some point at least checking it out especially if you like those type of soaps uh, but let's move on to the other section let our move on to our black stout here I love beer soaps. Love beer soaps. Love them, love them, love them. Um, they're so versatile. You can do so many different things. Um, but beer soaps in general, very bold, very sexy, um, and very confident. And in the case of the Black Stout, we have what is a wood spice uh, beer soap. I feel like I don't even need to say anymore, but that's what we have. Now, the Black Stout is made with a famous black stout or probably better known as guinness now i think it's interesting on ingredients he says beer a famous black stout i guess for legal purposes he can't say guinness but that's what the soap is made with and it smells fantastic you have cedar and fir along with clove and black pepper you know that come together so brilliantly this is a very confident, um, very sexy, very bold, very well done man. So, heavy recommendation on the Black Stout. I really feel like I don't need to say anymore. It is a beer wood spice soap. It's done very well. In terms of complexity, very similar to the Dog's Bay Beach. We have a very complex soap, but it doesn't do too much. It's not obnoxious. It's not, it's not gonna give you a headache. It just, it's a perfect marriage of our scents and our essential oils, and it's very well done. Both of these soaps are fantastic, and I highly recommend both of them. But with that being said, let's move on to the next part of the video where we'll do a little lab of the test so you can see that up close and personal, and we'll come back and do some concluding thoughts. So. <music>
welcome back from a lather test. As you can tell, both our soaps featured a really nice lather. It's always good to see that. But let's start wrapping up our video and do some concluding thoughts here. Now, just to point out a couple of details, each soap will come at, depending on the size, as some sizes are, uh, some soaps will come at six ounces, some will come at four and a half ounces, not quite sure why that's the way that is, but hey, whatever. Um, the one at six ounces will come at 8.75, or four and a half ounces of soaps will come at 7.75. Now in the case of these, our black style was a four and a half, so that's gonna come at 7.75 for you. Your dog's Bay Beach was a six ounce soap, so that's gonna come at 8.75 for you. That's not including taxes and shipping and stuff like that, obviously. It's also really cool to point out all these soaps are made in Ireland, then they're shipped to the US, and then they're shit obviously shipped out from there. So that's a really cool thing to point out as well. I also wanna say thank you to John and our friends at The Black Stuff Company. Thank you for sharing and sending me some of your soaps so I can check it out on the channel. Greatly appreciate that and I hope that I can help in any which way possible, obviously. Now if you're trying to save a little money, they do offer a subscription service where you can save about roughly what's 15%, right? And you can choose how many and choose the frequency and things like that, pretty standard stuff, right? You can also, if you order, over $50, free shipping handling, right? So, cool stuff there. Now we got a chance to look at the soaps in the boxes, both look really good. All the ingredients, checked all the boxes, nothing artificial, nothing funny, really good stuff there. Everything was put well, uh, soaps were well made. Yeah, then we did a sniff test, both soaps smell fantastic here. Now I think you're gonna appreciate when it comes to the performance that I didn't really experience too much skin grab. If there was, it was very slight. Both of them have like a, uh, a oilier lather, which is to be expected with different oils and soap. So you can expect a bit more of an oilier, a oilier lather. Uh, exfoliations, <laughs> loved it. <laughs> really good grip there, really good exfoliator. Get that skin all nice and soft and smooth. Love exfoliating soaps. <laughs> um, so I think overall, really good job. Some really nice soaps. You're gonna get some good value here. So I think you can, I think on that end, you're gonna be fine if that's what you're worrying about. So what are my final thoughts on both these soaps and the Black Stuff overall? I would say if first impressions matter, then Black Stuff Company absolutely nailed it. This is one of those companies that kind of like Suzzy Bear. I keep coming back to that because it's like the same instance, like these guys just came out of nowhere. I didn't really know anything about them. And then bam, out of nowhere, they're in my hands. This is one of those companies that deserve way more attention and I hope you, I hope you do. I really do. I really hope you consider giving these guys uh, a chance. And you know, um, cause I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I really enjoyed it. I liked, I really, I liked what I saw so far. So for me, at the end of the day, this is an easy, heavy recommendation for the Black Stuff Company. So there you have it, my friends. That concludes my review of the Dogs Bay Beach and the Black Style by the Black Stuff Company. Next week, we'll probably be looking at the Irish Rain and also the Ginger Honey Tea, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, those will be our next two videos by the Black Stuff Company, so look forward to that. Till then, um, you guys take care. Leave some comments below what you think of these soaps. Do you plan on getting them? Or if you have tried them, leave some thoughts and what is your uh, experience with them. So once again, my friends, this is Natural Soap Man and it has been a pleasure to serve you. And as always, stay natural.